Welcome everyone, I'm Simon, and in this installment of Do It, I'm following up Anders' beer caddy build with my own CNC twists. Let's dive right in because I've got some ice cold crispy boys that need carrying. I started out with some leftover pine board from a sign project, but I didn't like all that excess sticking out, so I went ahead and removed it very carefully. I had to strategically nest the four pieces so they'd fit on the limited material I had. This layout isn't horizontally symmetrical, which meant I had to make a layer showing the orientation of the pieces when they were flipped, and that is where I put the engraving art. Once it was carved, I could flip the piece over and finish cutting all the pockets and profiled edges. The interior corners of the pockets all got a dog bone cut to compensate for the radius of the cutting bit, and so the square corners of the sides would sit flush inside them. For the handle, I chose a 5 8 inch dowel rod from my stash, and I wanted a perfect fit so I made three test holes. Each one was one hundredth of an inch larger than the next, and I found that 64 hundredths of an inch was the winning fit. Worried that the collet might hit the hold down piece, I paused the cut to drive a screw down and take the corner hold out. It was a good idea, but unfortunately I think the pause somehow screwed up the G-code because it decided to take a path right through one of the ends.
To fix the CNC screw up, I flattened the two faces and prepped a filler piece 1 8 of an inch thick, which is the diameter of the bit that cut through it. Ah, <sighs> mistake number two. I was smart enough to make test fit holes for the dowel handle, but not smart enough to remember to update the design. I originally drew it for a 3 quarter inch dowel, so that's what it ended up cutting. Of course, I didn't have any of that size, so I had to go out and get one. Please, don't judge my taste in beer by the shandies and hard sodas that you see here. My wife likes them. The good stuff is bought by the keg and served on draft. By the way, you can check out all our other beer and bar videos in the playlist linked here or in the description below. For the sides, I used some aspen wood left over from another project. I discovered one of the boards was a tiny bit thicker than the one I measured to design the pockets in CAD so I had to shave those pieces down with a block plane. I didn't want the bottles clanging together or moving around when carried, so I whipped up a set of dividers and CAD to be cut out on the CNC. I wanted them to be easily removable in case the user wanted to tote around anything other than bottles, and it worked out pretty good. The screws that came with the bottle openers looked like they could poke through, so rather than risk it, I just took them over to the grinder and shortened them a bit. So if you've been wondering how the drink up design and colors look familiar, it's because it's a tribute to David Picciuto and his channel Make Something. He's been a great influence and inspiration to us, not to mention he used to be the drunken woodworker, so this seemed like the perfect project video to give him a shout out. He's also got plans and a video for his own beer tote design, so make sure you go give that a watch. 
The link is in the description below. So, what do you think? If you haven't seen Anders first part of this man vs. machine project, click over to that now and see his awesome maple and walnut totes. Let us know in the comments what you liked or even disliked about both builds. This is something we'd like to carry on in the future, building the same things in different styles to show just how many ways there are to skin a cat. But don't worry, we're not actually going to skin any cats. I'm in the process of finalizing some DXF files to share if you want to cut your own totes like these, so keep an eye out on our Thingiverse page for that. And in the meantime, make sure you're following us on Instagram and Twitter too. Thanks for watching.